Turning now to the COVID threat across Georgia, new numbers show Tuesday was the second highest day on record for new cases. More than 24,000 people testing positive for the virus in a 24 hour period. We have not seen a peak yet in Georgia. About 34% of all tests are coming back positive. The World Health Organization wants that number at 5% or lower to avoid community spread. The number of COVID-19 patients in the hospital showing no sign of slowing down. Right now, healthcare workers are caring for more than 5,000 COVID patients. That's just about 800 less from our record set during the Delta surge. As we have learned through this ongoing pandemic, our kids and teachers have not been immune to the virus. Only on 11 Alive, several Cobb County teachers say they're considering breaking their contracts following a tough year of teaching. Two teachers speaking exclusively to our Palosoro say their final straw came just last week when the district decided to end contact tracing. We are actively being attacked. You know, a teacher would put their life on the line to save a child, but the message is clear. Our lives just don't matter. Two Cobb County teachers spoke anonymously with me tonight, each one trying to balance keeping the job they love while staying safe. So now with the lack of contact tracing, I am absolutely terrified. I am honestly more scared than I've been at any point in this pandemic. They found out the district will no longer be contact tracing through this email sent out a few hours after Superintendent Chris Ragsdale announced it to the board before adjourning from their January 6th meeting. Contact tracing has been probably the biggest lift on staff resources. Each one says no input was given from those this affects firsthand. We are in crisis. The children are in crisis. We are being asked to do more with even less resources than ever. That lack of support is why they say they've looked into breaking their teaching contracts with the district, but that can get complicated. If I had the means, I would probably quit my job as much as I love doing this. Um, my spouse and I are both high risk. Neither one of us can afford to get COVID, but my husband works retail. And so I don't have that choice. I'm the one who carries our insurance. So it's a very scary time to be a teacher right now. They say breaking a contract mid year can cost thousands of dollars, can get you blacklisted from working for the district at any capacity or even worse, risk losing their certification. It would be life changing. It would be life altering if we were to pull that trigger and do it. In my school, I know of five people who are not retirement age who are seriously, if not already, transitioning out of the career. This is not conceptual. This is concrete. We can't afford to lose one, not one veteran teacher right now, but we will. We will. The superintendent making that decision after the governor changed guidelines for schools. We spoke to some school board members who say they were not even aware the district was considering stopping contact tracing until the meeting and they were caught off guard. Look for more on the decision on 11alive.com education.